it's Sarah and I'm working with polymer clay actually yesterday I was and I made this little fairy house I'm going to show you that in a second um, I've been out and about looking for fairy garden supplies um, so fairy gardens are basically uh, you use these little fairies that you can get right and you create a little uh, habitat for your fairy to live. I'm going to do mine outdoors. Probably next month I'll do it. Um, I'm going to have it on my deck, on my back deck. And it'll be in a potted plant. So I'm going to find, I, I don't, I might use something I have, but I think I want to find something a little wider. Um, and then you create, I'm going to put live plants some flowers and some but I did get these AC Moore had these these were on clearance these are like succulents so I got a couple of them they were a dollar each um, and I did get a couple of wire pieces because I'm gonna try and make most of the things that I put in my garden um, and then if I if I bring it inside in the winter I'll use the uh, <coughs> excuse me I'll use like more plasticky stuff but I did buy these these were they were very cheap if if you know two bucks probably this is like a little um bird bird bath I actually painted this one this was a uh, rusty metal rusty tin or whatever you call it and I just painted it to match these because this was like this was all from um AC Moore pretty sure I went to everywhere like all the local um, craft stores like I got this fairy at one place and I got her at another but I like them because they're more they have like sexy fairies you know and I want I when I saw these I thought oh I like these the little kid ones all right so they'll be the stars of the show and so yesterday Maya and I were playing with clay and I had seen a video and I went back and tried to find the video so I could tell you who it was but I, I couldn't I don't know why I've seen I've looked at so many and she did hers with a baby food jar so I went and got I had these baby food jars and this is Maya's we didn't bake that yet and I did mine I also just pulled this I went and I found this is from the um, dollar spot a dollar for this little jar and I think this would work out for a tiny little one like this obviously my fairy is too big for this house she's way too big I'm going to show you this in a sec but um, I'm thinking I could do this this votive this is one of those glass votives that I used for a class I took and I think I mean she's a little tall but I could just you know because I don't want the house to be too big that it takes up too much space in the planner so say the planner is like you know 12 by 12 like let me go back up you know I mean if the planner is 12 by 12 you know I want it I want there to there'll be plants around the edges and then have a little scenery in the middle so this is kind of big enough because I have this is the other bigger size this is a votive that I did and that actually would be realistic you know it would be more realistic size wise maybe I will I'll do one of each what the hell right anyway <laughs> um, but I could probably do a tutorial for you on this one um, how I do it on glass so let me show you what I made so this is uh, I'll zoom in and hopefully stay in the shot. This is a baby food jar. So all I did was um, I covered the jar with some um, copper, I think, clay. First, I just, I have these texture sheets, which I love, and these are by a company called Makins. And I have the cobblestones, the wood grain, and the sand. I use those three. And um, I did the cobblestone for the, so I just kind of, I think I actually covered the glass first. So I'll do a tutorial and I'll, I'll show you how I do it. But I'll, so anyway, this is my house. So I based it off of like, I have these ATCs that I made and my little book that I've shared in the past. If you want to see these, you can um, 
go back in my videos and see. I, I don't think I did a tutorial for this either. Totally inspired by um, Lynn's Crafts. Lynn uh, does polymer clay. So that's, this is kind of like, see how I did the little, um, the swirly vine and the leaves and the cobblestone. Well, I did, I did the, the bricks around the door. I did that on here. So, all right. So I kind of just went off what I had already done. So let me try and zoom in and stay in the shot. I made little steps because when I wrapped it and I put the door on, the, the bottle curves under. Like, you know what I mean? So I wanted to just fill in that space. So I just filled it in and made steps. And then this green is clay that I, I use scraps. I only use like a couple colors of clay. Um, the green was like, I used it for my seaweed on my underwater themed ones and it had all different colors in it. And so I used that on the, for the bushes. And then the gray, I want to say that's like a granite clay. That is such a cool clay. It has like flecks of color in it, like sand looking, you know. And I textured these bricks with the sand. And then I just swirled a vine and put some leaves. I just cut these leaves out of a thin sheet of clay with my X-Acto knife and like made the lines and everything. And then these are little roses that I just rolled the clay up. I never did that before, but I think they turned out pretty good. Um, and for the door, I did use the uh, wood grain texture, but you don't have to. You can just use your use a tool and make some marks. So I, I made lines in it for it to be like wood. I used a little piece of white clay to go around it and just started, you know, building. Uh, I cut holes because I think I'm going to try one of those battery operated um, tea lights. I'm gonna put one of them in here and see if it shines through. I just, this morning, I just patinaed this. That's why I have paint all over me. Um, I put the black paint on and then rubbed it off and it gets in all the nooks and crannies so you can kind of see more of the detail on the uh, roses and stuff. And I scratched it off in some places like I couldn't see in the middle of the knocker, so I scratched it off in there. But I like how it looks on the stairs. And these flowers, I used black for the um, centers, and it just didn't it didn't show up anymore. So then I went back over it with this. This is the uh, Liquid Pearls by Ranger, and I just got this color. Um, I think it was on clearance. I'm telling you, I buy things when they're on clearance now. I don't really shop anymore for craft supplies. I mean. Yes, I do, but I try not to. Um, but I put that in the centers, and I love how that pops now. And it's just a pearlescent uh, pop. So I just put white flowers on the bushes. And then I put a little birdhouse, which I could have put a bird up here. There's so much. You, it's like endless. You could just go crazy. Um, and a couple of little, like, sprigly plants. And then I made this trellis, and again, I took the perfect pearls, or liquid pearls, I should say, and just made spots of it. And I don't love how they turned out. Like, I think I should have put just one right near each bud to kind of represent a leaf, but I just kind of did it random, and I don't love, it just looks a little messy, but, and I did the same thing on the on these. Like, I just put random ones to make a, a pop of color or a pop of glitter, but I should have done it more, like, specific, like maybe right at the bottom of the each leaf like to connect the leaf to the vine or something you know but i think it turned out really cute i like it it's tiny though it is small and then for the roof this is the um it's like metal so i baked i baked all this in the oven i use a toaster oven and um I follow the manufacturer's directions that's on the um, i use primo clay for this Primo Pearl mostly and some glitter. This is the red is glitter clay and it's 275 degrees for 30 minutes per quarter inch. So I cooked, I baked the whole thing. Like I baked it like this with a piece of tin foil over the top because I tend to scorch things. I have a new oven now and it's doing much better. I have also have an internal um, thermometer and uh, that you put in the oven to make sure it's the right temperature. Um, so it turned out pretty good. I did get a crack in my roof. 
there is a crack right here. Am I in the shot? It goes like from here over to here. So I'm not sure what happened. Sometimes there could be an air bubble or I'm not sure, but um, I just cut different size uh, round circles of the white pearl clay and stuck them on top of this red glitter clay. And I put the white pearl underneath too. Uh, and kind of made it look, I just pinched it around the edges and kind of made it look like a, a mushroom top sort of. That was my idea. Well, it's not my idea, but <laughs> that was the thought. <coughs> Excuse me. And these lids don't really screw on. There we go. So it's cool. I like it. I think it turned out really cute. And I think this was a good trial run if I want to do the big votive. I'm going to zoom back out. Um, and I will do a tutorial on this votive uh, with the polymer clay to make a little fairy house for your fairy garden. So, um, see, look, now it looks like I got, oh, I did. Um, but yeah, I did, like I said, I just found this in my, when I was looking for this, this was also in there, and this is from the dollar spot at Target, and this could make a really cute shaped fairy house, and I think with the cork, I could just kind of, I think this could be good. I think I could bake this, and just, I might make leaves, like, um, green leaves that come down big leaves see look this is what i do i'm going to try to make this short and i never make any videos short but let me get in here i if i see something out and about in the stores um because like i said i'm not trying to buy it if i can f make it out of polymer clay i think that'll be even better than buying the stuff so like yesterday we went to this uh an actual garden center and look a little fairy on a swing she was twenty dollars though I don't want to buy it for twenty dollars I love her and I could probably make the swing because I have wire but I she, you can't you know I need a little fairy that holds her hands oh my god and look at her ears she's adorable but anyway like this top see this top like I could put petals going down the sides of this jar and a center that's what I'm gonna do on here I'm gonna make a little flower top on this one um, this was just one that we saw at the center and then these are just examples of different plants and ideas um, this is my little frog on my mailbox um, oh wait I'll show you uh, see stepping stones these are little stepping stones I made stepping stones but um they're little they're tiny ones these were bigger but I thought I'm not gonna buy them I could make them um, that's just a stamp that I zoom in on and then I get ideas for how to make my fairy house. See, that's the frog. That's the little, it's a stamp. I don't have the stamp, but I just looked at the picture and drew the frog on my mailbox. This is the shepherd's hooks that I have wire. I'm going to try and make a couple of them. Uh, and then this is just more stuff that I, like, see, look, this is um, another fairy house idea that has big leaves as its lid. So I could totally do that. Maybe I'll make this one today. Um, I just, and then see that's the ladybugs on there. That's why I put the ladybugs on here. So yeah, and then a welcome sign. I can totally make a welcome sign. Fences, birdhouses. So anything like, like I said, you could go on Pinterest. I'm sure there's a million things. Um, I wish I could remember who it was that did this. Uh, because I've been watching so many different videos. Oh, Kelly Bell does a good one with, um, she uses like a, a toilet paper roll as her base inside and she takes it out. But I just like the idea of using the jar. Like you could probably even use a ball jar. I might have a ball jar that I could use. Gosh, now I'm really thinking. I'm going to go look and see if I have something like that. Like one of these with a lid. You could totally use that, you know, um, and put polymer clay on it. All right, you guys, so that's basically it. Uh, like I said, I think next month, I'm not going to be putting it all together until next month, and I'll do a video when I do make the fairy garden itself. Um, I'm going to make stuff for it. Like, I think I might make a little bird bath, a uh, bird house. Uh, what other little, I could probably, oh, excuse me, 
if I have like a marble, you know those looking glass things, the little, anything that's like a gardeny thing, that's what you can use in your fairy garden. All right, so I'll be back. Thanks for watching.